a quick question for you today. What is your favorite Christmas song? There are so many really good Christmas songs. Um, there's one that a lot of kids like. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Is that your favorite one? Maybe you're learning that on an instrument. There are a lot of songs we sing at church this season. A lot of songs about the birth of Jesus or waiting for Jesus. There are really good songs during Christmas. Songs that we come back to year after year after year. Did you know that Mary, Jesus' mother, yeah, we've talked about her a little bit. Did you know that she wrote a Christmas song? When she heard that she was going to be pregnant with Jesus, she wrote this song. We're going to read it together. It's from the book of Luke in the Bible. She sang the song as the angel gave her the news that she was pregnant with Jesus. In Luke it says, My soul glorifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has been mindful of the humble state of his servant. From now on, all generations will call me blessed. The Mighty One has done great things for me. Holy is his name. His mercy extends to those who fear him from generation to generation. He has performed mighty deeds with his arm. He has scattered those who are proud in their inmost thoughts. He has brought down rulers from their thrones, but has lifted up the humble. He has filled the hungry with good things, but has sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel, remembering to be merciful to Abraham and his descendants forever, just as he promised our ancestors. So we don't know exactly how that song sounded, but those were the words. Why do you think Mary wrote that song? There was a lot of stuff there. She was talking about a lot of things. She talked about the fulfillment of prophecy. That means when things are happening that God promised a long time ago, things she had read in scripture, things that had been in her scriptures for years and years and years. Mary wrote her Christmas song to thank God for all the good things that God had done for her, for her people, for the earth. Can you think of some of the good things God has done for you? I think there are a lot of things that come to mind initially. God has made us. God gave us life. God gave us our parents and a world to live in. God sent Jesus to teach us about the best way of Christ. Those are a lot of good things that God has done for us, but Mary also says some really powerful words. Mary says some powerful prophecies in her song. And do you know what a prophecy is? That's kind of a, probably a word we don't use a lot. We don't say that word a lot just as we're going about our lives. We don't say prophecy. Well, a lot of the prophecies in the Bible are about being hopeful of what's to come. We hear prophets, those are people who give us prophecies. We hear prophets saying words of hope, sometimes words that are not so hopeful, but in Mary's song, words of hope, things we can look forward to. Mary says, God has brought down the rulers from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. That's a, that's a big prophecy. God has brought down the earthly rulers. God has brought down the kings and queens that we know, the presidents. All of that earthly power that we know is finished now that Jesus is here. That was Mary's prophecy. That was Mary's hope. Mary says, God has filled the hungry with good things, but sent the rich away. That's not the world that we see it right now, right? We see the rich who have lavish homes, everything that they want, but a world full of hungry people. But Mary says in her prophecy, Mary's song of hope, God has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away. Those are hopeful words. Mary was talking about the way of life in her day where there were really rich people and people who didn't have a lot of things. 
people who didn't have the things that they need, like food and shelter. So she was talking about the way of life in her day, but also when we read these ancient words, these words that are 2,000 years old, she's talking about the way of life today. Mary, in this hopeful prophecy, said the way that the world is working is not the way of God. And that's still true today. The way that the world is working today is not the way of God. And that's what Mary tells us. And we are hopeful that Jesus, that the way of Jesus, changes all of that. That's what Mary's song is about. That's what Christmas is about. That's what our waiting for Christ is about. That we know the way that the world works today is not the way of God. And Jesus can change all of that. Mary in the Bible tells us that the rich have so much while there are children of God who are hungry. There are people in power, kings, queens, presidents, rulers, who live in castles and white houses and have everything that they need. There are people in power, yet there are people all over the world who are hurting and don't have the things that they need. The way that the world is working is not the way of Christ, is not the way of God, and Jesus changes all of that. Jesus comes into our world to change all of that, and Mary was hopeful. All through Advent, we've talked about hope, with waiting, waiting and joy, and that's why Mary sang her Christmas song. That's why we sing our Christmas songs, because we're waiting in joy. We're waiting in hope, knowing that there's good to come. We sing to thank God for all the good things God has done while we are also hopeful that the way of Christ will permeate the world, that the one day, the way that the world works is going to be the way of God. Let's continue hoping and waiting in our Advent season. Let's pray together, friends. God, we thank you for loving us and for doing good things for us. This Advent season, we especially thank you for sending Jesus to us. We pray that we can share in Mary's hope for justice and peace. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Okay, friends. So nice to spend this time together with you and talk about the songs that we love for Christmas and what we're hoping for for Christmas. That we see the peace and the love and the justice of Christ in our world. That the one day, the way that the world works will be the way of God. See you soon. I hope you all have a Merry Christmas. Bye.